In fair Verona we lay our scene. Two households, both alike, in something and something out. It's been a while since I've read Romeo and Juliet. We're looking for our hotel. We can't remember its name. Uh, we can't remember where it was at. We aren't sure how far it is from where we are, and we don't even know which direction we're walking. We don't have the address. We don't have the address. We don't have Wi-Fi. We don't have Wi-Fi. And we were on our computers for like five hours yesterday and didn't do any work to prepare for getting off the train today. I, I remember something about the airport. I think we're close to the airport. So we saw a sign with an airplane on it. <laughs> and so we're just following that sign with the airplane on it. It may have said airport 15 miles this way. We have no idea, we're walking. A Nigerian guy we met <laughs> suggested that we walked further, basically that we walked in the wrong w direction and to go back to take a bus to the train station where we, came from. where we just came from. Well, this looks familiar. On, this is the cheapest place we're staying and the nicest place we're staying this place we're and the staying. farthest place we're staying but what we didn't know which would have been a lot of more helpful is they have a shuttle that would have picked you up at the train station or the town center or the airport and that's how we found out they have a shuttle because we went all the way to the airport <laughs> from the train station I think they think we flew in, but we didn't, we didn't fly it at all. So yeah, this is exciting, and we'll see Venice tomorrow, and hopefully at some point get to see the sights of Verona. Alright, so we arrived, we're in Venice. That's a building that I think is famous in Venice, and you see a boat going along the canal right there. I need a haircut. So we're here in St. Mark's Square. That's the church right there. That's the square. You can tell because it's quite square. And that's the the tower. Some tower, a tower, the tower. And I don't really know much about Venice. The church is really pretty. Yeah, that's where we were earlier, that's that tower. Here's the Verona Amphitheater, Verona Arena. It's one of the best preserved arenas from Roman times. And it's probably the second best known one behind the Colosseum in Rome, which we'll be seeing sometime in the next couple days. So here's the Verona Arena and the stage is set. I'm not sure what's playing. The um, looks like they got a big orchestra pit. They're probably playing doing a show a play. Paul McCartney played here a couple of days ago. Just missed him. Here's Juliet's balcony. Over there is Statue of Juliet, a place where lots of people put locks, which is a theme all over Europe. This is all gum, where I guess you take chew a piece of gum and stick it to the wall with like a note of lasting love or something, I don't know. I think it's kind of gross, you can see there's like ants crawling around on the gum. They're having a field day.